Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Alright. Sign your wills. Let's go wake up the princess. Here we go. And this is Renoa. This is Angelo. Despite the appearance of the name, it's actually female. I think it's actually uh, based on uh, the name of a dog of one of the developers of the game at the time. So yeah, and the uh, the dog of the developer was female. So. Dougie. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Mm 
Was actually a plan. So, yeah, the focus for this is the red car. Switching the car that we're pushing with the red car. So two switch points. Oh, yeah. Okay, so jump across. Okay, we've got some uh, pretty good shoes for that. Sensors on the second escort car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally. Necessarily. Okay, so we separate the president's car from the main pack, so to speak. Then we move in front and hitch on to it. And then attach the dummy car to the target train. Connect from the dummy car and escape with the president. All right. So yeah, uh, get on the esc second escort. Uh, proceed across the second escort. Proceed across the president's car. Uncouple the first car. The dummy car and our base move in. Uncouple the second car and escape with the president's car. That sounded a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Yeah, but simulations are complete can be completely different from uh, real life. sensors okay so it's the first car that we're gonna end up on okay so there's a sound sensor and a temperature sensor all right any sound will trigger the sound sensor okay 
Okay, that makes sense. It's a blue guard. Alright, so color matching. And temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary. Alright. Red guard is carrying on. Alright. Check in the sensor. Alright. One window. Okay. So stop if there's a blue guard. Red. Uh, run if there's a red guard. Alright. Alright. I've never uncoupled a, uh, a car from a train before, so I'm going to take him at his word. <laughs> so I have to enter codes. I know it has them. Okay. Okay, so... I assume the numbers are just... What's the word? Uh, a primer or something like that? Or, no. Each number represents one of the buttons. And, yeah, okay. Five seconds. Okay. Three codes, I'll quit hold L1. Alright. 2242. So, yeah, as, uh, as tempting as it might be to do these as quickly as possible, um, no, you actually have to do them one at a time. Uh, error. <laughs> to be honest, I've actually, actually, I don't think I've ever actually had the, the five second timer run out on me, so I'm not sure if it actually does. Uh, change the entire uh, um, set of codes or not. I'm usually more likely to mess up the button press like I just did. <laughs> saying anything. Obviously, if you want to go through it again, you can. Dr. Watts? Alright. Alright. Well, obviously, we're eventually going to reach the train, so yeah, we gotta be ready pretty quick. What's over here? Anarchist Monthly, first issue. Galbadia's dictator, President Vinzer Deling Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Okay. Second issue. President Deling became the president after the Second Sorceress War ended. To gain support quickly, he carried out the invasion of Timber was only a ploy to decorate an already corrupt man's immoral career. So I guess that would mean the Second Sorceress War ended if Zell's, you know, timeline is to be is to be believed. The 
was around 18 years ago. So it was only employed to decorate an air game. Moral career, her land of timber was brutally destroyed. Here began Windsor Delling's road to dictatorship. Third issue. To imprison anti-government sympathizers, the D District Prison was built in the de desert south of Delling City. Millions were spent to bring the to build the facility. The threat of being sent to the prison intensified Delling's unpopularity. The prison began imprisoning Gabadi and anti-government sympathizers just as they did in Timber. Moreover, the leaders of the resistance movements faced the threat of having family members, members imprisoned as well. Around this time, Delling began surrounding himself only with loyals, which turned him even into an even more fierce, fierce dictator. Final issue. With the exception of Esthar, the Galbadian military possesses the world's only long-range missiles. Although never used in combat, their existence has become a worldwide threat. It is said that the missiles have the ability to hit any target with astounding accuracy, even without using radio signals. Will the time come for the president to push the button? When the time comes, it's... <laughs> Final issue indeed. Lots, but uh, yeah, let's save it just in case. Oh, there's someone else in here. Hang on, let's uh, save it first. Oh, it's the the dummy president. So I am aware that there is a another magazine we can pick up right now, and there's also a card that we can that I would like to pick up as well. However, we'll get an opportunity later. So let's take care of business first. Well, we'll take care of what we're hired to do, and then uh, do that stuff. So let's go. All right, let's do this. So this must be the dummy car. I'm a dummy car. Second escort. And this is the one with the sensors on. Right. Five minutes. Right. Oh, that was quite the jump there. All right, the sensors. So uh, blue stop, red run. I don't think they actually did get it working. I, mean, they, I think they just didn't bother programming it in. So, yeah. Yeah, regardless, the sensors were broken. So. so, in case you're wondering, you can just run across there without worrying about that stuff.
first escort clearance. We can hold L1 to look left. Alright. I think I do. Alright. Moment of truth. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna hold L1 anyway. So, press 3, 4, 4, 4. Slow. He's coming. Three, two, two, one. Let's go up. I don't have enough time to enter another one, so. Go forward there. So, yeah, as soon as they uh, enter that the window there or the door, yeah, that's when you get caught. So, yeah. Should be okay. Keep looking left anyway. Three. Can still move. <laughs> I can still move. I can still move. I can still. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> There is a benefit to doing this in your first try. <clears throat> Pardon me. I almost missed a button press there.
I understand the conundrum that the developers put themselves in with that move, but to be honest, I think if they'd kept it physically feasible, it still would have been better. <laughs> I mean, we've got the president, so there's really no point in making sure that other car hitches up the, the, uh, the train. But anyways. And if you do it in your first try, without messing up, you get a seed rank. So it looks like we're going to have to go in and let Renoa say what she needs to say. But we'll have to take care of that next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.